<laughs> We're chargers to the core. Oh. Hey guys. <clears throat> Lou Game Master here. And, well, it's the. If you can't read the name of the title of the video, it's my next QA. 70 subscribers. Um. So yeah, if you've seen the first one, you, you should know how this works out. Um. Anyway. <clears throat> Let's do this. Twilight Sparkle S. I'm going to ask you three questions. Can you draw? Anything like flowers, water, MOPFM, etc., etc. Um, yes, actually. I'm getting better at it. I, I, I've been practicing a little bit. Um, I'm currently taking Art Survey 1. Um, but yeah, I, I've drawn some other things like Pokemon. For Mostly unknown, because they're like the easiest ones to draw. <laughs> um... Anyway, yeah, I can draw. Congratulations on getting 70 subscribers. Thank you very much. That that really means a lot to me. Um, yeah. Princess Celestia, you doing? You're doing. You're doing overwork. Die down the brightness. <laughs> oh God. <clears throat> anyway, question. Her third question is, can you give me a hug? Um, yeah, sure. Internet hug. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. Gamer sick of companies for profits only ads. Well, here are my questions. One, what is your Chinese zodiac sign? Well, my Chinese zodiac sign is r the rabbit. I was born in 1999. So yeah, therefore, I was born in the year of the rabbit. And the second question is... One of the 12 zodiac signs, which one are you? I'm Virgo. Yeah. <laughs> that was just weird how I just said that. Yeah. Anyway, scrolling up to the next set of questions. Alright, Quicksilver Variant asks, Why is your OC now an alicorn? Also, where did the inspiration for Bright Blaze come from? If you don't know who Bright Blaze is, it's a character in one of my role plays. <clears throat> so, wow. My ala dang it. My OC is an alicorn because, well, I just feel like since um, he, he kind of... How do I describe this? I feel like he, he hit a certain... Um, Point in his life where the alicorn transformation is appropriate. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, my OC, yeah, basically my OC is now an alicorn for different reasons. I mean, the transformation I could describe, but that's obviously not why he's an alicorn now. Um. Uh, well, I, I I practiced this before the like what I was gonna say, but it's like <sighs> left me. But I, I'd have to say my <laughs> different reasons, mostly because hmm. well, he was the only Pegasus to have. Magic, unicorn magic to be exact, um, because King Sombra gave him some of his magic, and so over the years, over the years, he um, learned how to control his magic better and better. I mean, before, like early on, like he, trying to use magic since he has no horn, or did have no horn. Basically, it would leave burns on his forehead. Anyway, so where did the inspiration for Bright Blaze come from? 
there really was no inspiration. It was just a name I thought up right on the dot. Like, right on the spot. I was like, oh, what should I name this character? And I was like, <clears throat> Bright Blaze. Yeah, that's about it. Derpina asks, why does your OC have golden forms exactly? Good question. My OC has golden forms. <laughs> well, if you know, I'm a fan of Dragon Ball Z, so I decided to implement some of the perspectives of Dragon Ball Z into my OC. For example, the golden forms, which would basically be like the Super Saiyan forms, like Super Saiyan 1, 2, and 3. But, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's, yeah, that's it for that question. Anyway, my, my, bet one of my best friends, Zephyr, Zephyr, or I don't, I don't know, I, I, I def, I'm pretty sure I butchered your name there. He asks, what is your OC's favorite food? Um, that would be um, vanilla milkshake. Um, Electric Flash asks, "Do you think you can be better than any YouTuber?" It it really depends on where you're going with that question. Like certain YouTubers, definitely yes. I mean, if I want it, if I had the motivation, I could pretty much be better than almost any YouTuber ever on YouTube. But like the the way my <clears throat> how slow my subscribe subscriber count is going, um, currently prob I would only be I'd probably be better than the ones with less than a hundred subscribers. Well. Most of the ones with less than 100 subscribers, like, yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I, if I try really hard to bring good content, all of that, um, yeah, I'm, I think I can be, pretty much be better than any YouTuber. Um, Glenn Gredden, I screwed up his name, wow. Glenn Gregan asks, what do you think of me and Flaky? Well, I, you two make a good couple. That's my opinion, anyway. Not sure what other people's opinions are. Um, Alright, next question. It's from ThunderGamer25. He asks, is being a brony cool or nah? I think being a brony made me 20% cooler. <laughs> now I just have to scroll all the way up here. Because all the rest of my questions for this um, <laughs> Q&A video are like all the way at the top really should think more before I do these things. Uh, hold on. Almost there. Um, got it. Come on, are we here yet? Alright. No, oh, wait. Never mind. Here we go. Um. Alright then. Angela the Love Pony asks, are you a guard? Or more specifically, is my OC a guard? Um, no actually, he is not a guard. Um, yes, he has armor on. For some reason, like, I, re I requested people to like, draw my OC with armor on and... Pretty much gold, or 
if you're a, if you're a Sky fan like me, it's butter. I gotta turn on this light so you guys can see me better since it is growing dark yet. All right. Um, but no, he is not a guard, but actually a prince. I I'd have to say. Elise R asks, "How heavy is your armor?" Well, um, my OC's armor, considering, if I was to bring up, if I'm supposed to bring in actual physics into this, or how elements work, the armor would be extreme, is extreme, would be technically extremely heavy, unless if you have it, like, cut in some way to where it's light, um, but, like, for the helmet, I'd, Probably estimate mm, ten pounds, maybe. I'm not sure. And then the body armor for it, um, I'd estimate at least fifty or sixty pounds, something like that. I'm not sure. I need to learn how to calculate all this stuff better, and then I'll be able to answer that question a lot better. <clears throat> and the last question. Purple Pen asks, what's your favorite type of MLP fanfic? <laughs> well, I'd, I would say um, horror... The horror genre of fanfics would be my favorite. Actually, yeah, that's that's definitely my favorite, um, because it has it brings in like creepy aspects of My Little Pony, Friendship's Magic, <laughs> and yeah, that is all the questions for now, guys. Um, if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe to join the Creeper Cat Army. I will see you later, recruits. Peace out. And yes, um, for right now, every 10 subscribers that I get, so like 80, 90, 100, um, I do a reaction at those times. So like, when I hit 80 subscribers, I'm gonna do another Q&A, 9 and then, like, if my subscriber count increases more rapidly, I will increase the number of subscribers I will, I must have for the next Q&A to happen. Or I'll just decide when I'll do the next Q&A. But yeah, goodbye, guys. Enjoy your day. Do something. <laughs> do something crazy. <laughs> but enjoy. Well. <clears throat> Have a nice day.